Well, hello again, sports fans. This is the latest flight of my bog standard nano talent. Today I'm testing some changes that I've made over the last couple of days. The first was adding an RC filter to the SSI indicator, which you can see flashing in the bottom of the OSD. And the second was adding some rudder turn into the falso settings for the receiver. So I've just thrown it up, but I'm having some troubles with the elevator control. It's, as soon as I let go of the elevator, she drops like a stone. And when I pull full elevator on, she only regains that altitude very, very slowly. So I'm doing a few circuits. I'm testing the various modes, but the uh, lack of elevator seems to be present in all of them. I'm not quite sure what the problem is. The other thing that's uh, annoying me a bit is my RSSI indication uh, doesn't seem to be working properly either. I'm only getting a reading when I'm within 100 metres of home and the readings even then are quite low. I assume this is due to the fact that I haven't really calibrated the RSSI with the uh, OSD so that's another thing to do but it doesn't look like it's going to help me in my uh, range test today. So I decided to bring it down and uh, recalibrate the stabiliser and uh, see if I can uh, improve the elevator response. So I do the recalibration, I increase the servo travel on my transmitter I've had about three or four test flights and nothing's really working. I can gradually get it to climb, so I decide that's what I'll do. I'll just throw it up in the air and uh, if I can get it up above 100 metres, I'll go and do my little range test. So I'm flying with the headset on, but I've unfortunately forgotten to push the record button. So the, this footage is from the... Uh, 808 number 16 camera that I've got sitting on the nose. The microphone on the poor old number 16 and gave up the ghost some time ago so I can't even entertain you with a little bit of engine noise. So the wind is coming from the north which is down this valley and the challenge for me is to get up high enough to keep a uh, signal to the plane over the top of that hill to the north end of our field. So I've managed to get up near 100 metres of altitude and I'm currently flying out west to give the hill the widest possible berth and then I'll turn north to um, do my range check into the wind. So wind's probably about 10 kilometres straight into me. It's a little bit gusty but the uh, nano talon seems to be handling it all right. I'm still having to hold a lot of elevator in to keep level flight and at this stage I just decide to let it go just to make sure that it is still a problem and it obviously is I have to put it back in so I just have to resign myself to the fact that I'm just going to have to hold uh, on elevator for the entire flight. So I think at this point the wind must be picking up because I seem to be being blown off course and having a bit of trouble uh, bringing it back towards the, uh, the west which is to the left. I'm pretty sure those violent corrections are the stabiliser rather than me but uh, either way it's not flying very nicely at all. I eventually get it behaving better by adding some extra throttle in and uh, using the uh, rudder a little bit more gently and she comes back on track. So I figure I'm far enough west and uh, to clear the hill and uh, start turning more to the north again.
So I'm just under two kilometres out from home and the plan from this stage is to just try and keep in the middle of the valley where if something does go wrong I might be a chance of finding it. Still nothing on the RSSI front on the OSD so I've got a loose plan that I'll try and get out to uh, three kilometres and uh, come back if everything's okay. So I notice this dam up ahead that I know from an earlier flight is uh, two and a half kilometres away and angle for that. And for some reason it reminds me that I haven't actually turned my uh, DVR recorder on on the headset. So I actually reach up and push the button and do that. So this is the uh, OSD from this point on, obviously. So it shows I'm... 135 meters altitude and uh, just coming up to the 2.5 kilometer mark around about that dam as I mentioned. So it's about this time that the video starts uh, shutting down and uh, I'm just getting uh, static and glimpses so I try and turn the plane around hoping that that will improve the signal but it doesn't. I'm still holding uh, in some up elevator but then realise well it'll just make it harder to find if I keep it in the air any longer so I let it go. So I managed to find some GPS coordinates from the recording on the headset and jump in the Land Rover and manage to find a track that takes me right out to that position which is two and a half kilometres from home. I figure that the wind will have driven the plane south so I start doing a search of the paddocks backwards and forwards uh, to the south of the GPS location but after an hour and a half or two hours I give up I just can't find it. So when I get home I stick the recording in the computer and manage to track down some frames that are later than the one that I used. Here they are, so I think I get an extra 20 seconds of flight. And when I plot them on Google Earth I find that they're um, a lot further to the west than the uh, position I used, as you can see on this graphic. So naturally they're in the area that I didn't look, so I decide I'll head out to the latest position. And lo and behold, I find it about 60 metres south of the uh, mark. So there you go, I have the Nano Talon back and it's in one piece. Even though the flight controller did seem to manage to land the thing okay, I am going to... Uh, respond to common sense and swap it out for a uh, more sophisticated unit.